month for the rest of her. <laughs> hey, Hi. how you doing? Yeah. yeah. Audit nice again. <laughs> I want to tell you. This is our pumpkin motif because if you're seeing this when you're supposed to be seeing it, it would be theoretically Halloween, but it'll probably be over by the time you see this. It's hard to say. but Because sometimes it takes signals a long time to get from the TV station to your television. Right. But it is Halloween in these parts. When we're doing this show, and, and we have all kinds of little play Doris got Doris loose in the novelty right. store. There's a little traveling pumpkin. And, uh, and it's coming over to Mr. Talk. Clackety voice. Uh, oh, good heavens. They passed in the night. There they go. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Woo! That Doris feels live. Thinks of everything, doesn't she? And look at these little pumpkins. Mm, uh -huh. They're just adorable. Charm. Are these we, mini pumpkins or mini pumps? They're just or? little, a member of the gourd family. And uh, what are these supposed to be? Are these supposed to be little ghosts? Little Larry walruses. and Laban ghosts. And uh, you can see that little Larry has gotten just as big as little Laban on this little platter. Yep. Yeah. Well, a lot of people have been phoning in about it. I'm Notice sick of hearing about it. been picking up a pound or two along the way. Enjoy watching you two horsing around. Hmm. What culinary institute have you boys attended? <laughs> Not that it would make a difference. Mm. I like the speed you use in chopping veggies. Mm. Oh, good. And that's from uh, Bronislav Gwadz, pronounced. That's easy for you to Gavush. say. Gavush. Gavush. It's a Polish name. And where is it from? Baltimore, Maryland. The place of your nativity. My nativity, where I was born, up in Baltimore. Uh, All you people watching Baltimore, thank you. Hi. We have enjoyed watching your show this summer. We do not get Yule year-round. I know the show is cooking cheap, but you need some regular mixing bowls because using, well, it mentions the specific ware, is not cheap. Well, they are if they give them to you, honey. Or we, we, or we get them at a flea market. We get them at a flea market. We enjoy, or... Where I get all mine is I know the dealer. <laughs> we enjoy your show so much. My mother, who is in a wheelchair, gets the biggest kick out of your dry humor. Aww. And that's from Ray Sinclair, and Ray is from Irvington, Virginia. And uh, this lady is from Lynchburg, Virginia, and uh, Sandra Meadows, and she didn't have any stationery, so she, she wrote it on the end of a piece of stuff here called electricity it's a pantyhose uh, thing and i thought that was real nice that she tore it ripped it just right off her pantyhose and sent it in well it is dear l and l love your show please keep it going the show that is bonnie petty marion virginia short and sweet and that's a picture of bonnie's dog and whether it is or not bonnie really, made that up I can't, oh, Bonnie Duarte from Roanoke, right? Where we're doing this thing. Wrote in, want to know how to fry sweet potatoes. All the way from Roanoke. How does fry well, sweet potatoes? We'll, we'll, maybe we'll try to run that up for you. Well, I got French fried sweet potatoes are getting to be a hot thing. They really are. Hi, guys. You're great. Cookie, but refreshing. I think it's supposed to be cook, kooky, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I really look forward to you cooking. You are living in paradise, I know, because I know Southwest Virginia from Roanoke to Bristol, and there's no better place anywhere. Only wish I could come back because she has, oh, that, excuse me, it's not she at all, Harvey Tomlinson, Alexandria, <laughs> no, Virginia. I think Harvey might take umbrage to that. <laughs> and we Matter just got fact, back from Sweden. Lawyer. No, we just got back from Sweden. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we're just kidding, Harvey. All right, well, let's go over to the kitchen and nah, see what's going I don't want cooking. to, I'm real tired. All right, well, oh, since okay. you Maybe I should. I I'll know. be glad to cook. Well, no, I'm hungry. You had three quarters of the last four shows, so maybe I ought to get over here and do something. Well, I'm making many Oh, the no. Moochers. Oh, my heavens. Doris and Harold have struck again. Well, no, they're heavens. real. They're real. But look, you know, one of they them, favor us. Both gourd heads lo look like you. No, no. Neither I, one of them look much like me. It's very much like you. This I used to have a, a, a right cookie right over, thing right called here. Oscar that, that the Cookie thing. It looked like that. That's Larry and that's Laban. <laughs> I'm going to make uh, many Swedish meatballs. Oh, okay. And I'm making this really wild thing that Reva Ashworth from Shawsville, Virginia, sent in. And it's called a chuck bake. Chuck but bake. But we're, I've got to peel four onions, so we'll do that while Larry is uh, okay. getting his stuff together over here. Okay. 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 I'm going to start out with about a pound of beef. Make it fairly lean beef, all right? Because there's nothing worse than greasy. Sweet Swedish meatballs. Now I know that I made some Swedish meatballs before on this program, but not nearly like these. These are real good. 
Start out with about a pound of beef. One egg, which you're going to break and you're going to beat lightly. Beat, 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 beat. Throw that in there. You're going to have to get in there with your hands in a couple of minutes. I know you're looking forward to it. I just went down the hole and washed them a few minutes ago. I'd been working outside. Now what else? Oh, we need some bread. Just plain old white bread. Just white bread, that's all. And we're going to take about two cups of that. As I recall, I did this yesterday. It really is a fine little, about two cups. That'd probably be about two cups right there. We'll see. Well, we're not going to see. I'm not going to be that perfect with it today. And you can either cut it or you can do what I'm doing, and that is just start picking away at it, just like a bird would pick. And we're going to put two cups of that in there and uh, then some other things here in just a couple of minutes. You know, Laban, we recently uh, went out on a, a dairy farm, right. I believe it was. Well, yes, we did. We went down to to my friend Jack Newbills down in uh, Franklin County. I thought while we were doing this, we'd do it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we thought we'd uh, go down and see where the beef comes from, where cows uh, are growing and milk and all that good stuff well, like that. Not so much so, uh, the beef, but the milk. Now here I am showing Mr. Dum Dum McGillicuddy, my partner here, how to milk a cow. Now anybody, farm boy like me, knows how to do this. So, right, and we're... And I've got Johnson... And I want him to prove it because he's now always that's Johnson telling to the us. left and the cow to the right. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah. You know, Bly's always bragging about how good yeah. he is. Now there I am. I'm, I'm an old trooper. Now look Nasty. at this. And that's Bessie. Right. <laughs> looks like yeah. Bessie's having a good time and looks, so am I. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Gross. So you see there, I do know how to milk a cow after all. And there you have it. No, nope. no, Whoa, that's wait not a minute. really the way we do it th oh. in this day and age. Uh oh. See, I, I went to Something the Franklin County School of Milking. Something I and don't And this know. is the way we really do it. Ta da! Amazing, he says mm -hmm. with a voiceover. Just, um, oh, look at that. And there's Beulah and Sarah and all, those, and all the rest of them. All the rest of them. Oh, look at that fine. milk coming out of there. Just well, look shooting at out of there. Oh. That's the way they do it now. That's right. You they just... did it that way when I was growing up too, believe it or not. Oh. Anyway, it wasn't as much fun. You mean you didn't actually have to go out and... I didn't have milk cows. I had beef cows. Oh. And you Everybody didn't knows to... you don't milk a beef cow. Well, I would hope they'd know it, but obviously our staff oh. didn't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And I'm continuing to <laughs> do this with the bread. And I'm <laughs> Pretty exciting thus far, isn't it? Right. Oh, how, I don't know how it came to be that, it so well. that Johnson and I both uh, sort of ended up doing dull things. i tell you what I'll do. I'll put some other stuff in here right now, and then I'll continue this when Mr. Johnson gets finished. What we got to do is put, well, it has a good ring to it, don't you think? Uh-huh. What we have to do is we take some ordinary onion soup mix. Doesn't matter what brand and just take an entire package of it and you put that in there too like so and well, we're going to put uh, two tablespoons I've lost my place we put uh, a tablespoon of dried parsley flakes you know I'm so used to using a real thing fresh I know that I'm just not used to it. I had to actually go out and buy some yesterday because I didn't have any dried fake. Oh, well, they're not fake. Well, they're but not dried fake. Ones. They're just desiccated. You know, desiccated. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to go back to continuing this for just a few more minutes, and then we're going to mix it all up with our hands, and that's the best part. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. Just keep this well, up. Well, Larry, and then in a minute we'll make the sauce that goes over top. I wanted to ask you. You know, last year when we were doing a show around the. Halloweeny season, mm. you were uh, telling us one and all that you were going to give out uh, mashed potatoes and gravy yeah, to, all right. to all the little children, the little children when, when they came up to your door. What are you giving to them this year besides a hard time? <laughs> I thought a little hollandaise sauce. Uh, I've mixed up some nice hollandaise sauce for all the uh -huh. kids. Uh -huh. And uh, all the kids bring their eggs by and I'll put, uh, put hollandaise sauce on it. Well, it's an busy. unusual thing, I'll have to admit. And I'm hoping that kids will stay away in droves this year. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I stayed away in droves last year, turned off lights, and went somewhere else. That's well, the best way to handle Halloween, kids. Sorry. Well, I Go guess to somebody else's house. Huh? It's I, expensive. Well, yes, it, it really is. It's is very yeah. expensive. Barely. Of course, I all know right. that Doris got all those grand young, and she doesn't agree. No. Well, while you're tearing that uh, bread to smithereens, I've got two uh, 
tablespoons of margarine in my little frying pan, and I sliced four onions. Now, you could do this really quick if you sliced your onions really thin, but given the nature and the quality of our stuff, <laughs> I was afraid to go for a real thin slice for fear I'd cut my fingers all the way off. And we're going to cook these onions in this margarine until they are nice and well done. They should be, be golden, and they will be. It's important, by the way, when you're doing this, that you get these fairly small, because as this goes, gets mixed into the, and there's nothing worse than getting a big wad of bread in your, Ooh, in your yes. Swedish meatball. I think that's right rude when you're at a party and you're talking, you get that. So try and make them just as tiny as can. You can do, you know, if you really want to do this real quick, I know I keep saying this, but I can't help, we can't afford it down here, but just throw these pieces of bread in your fine uh, uh, food processor and just go toink. And instantly, you have bread that has just been totally torn to pieces. Now, here comes the fun part. You will notice at no times do my hands leave my arms. All right, here we go. Just get in there with your hands and just squish it all around. And make sure you mix up the all the stuff, the egg and the... Well, I am so glad, Larry, that you're getting to do that because that way you can get rid of all of the hostility <laughs> I know that you have and, Johnson. and that you feel. Johnson. Right? Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Somebody, where were we? Somebody, Somebody asked was telling us if about, we really liked each other, personally, no, I mean. No, they were telling about some kind of Halloween show and they said, you know, that... It was a horror, one of those horror movies, and they were reaching in and pulling hamburger out of somebody. Oh, my... God, it's terrible. <laughs> no, no, no. I was somewhere the other day. This is a true story. I was somewhere the other day at one of our local fine hotels and ran into some of our fans of our show, and they wanted to know. They were real concerned about whether you and I actually like each other. Because <laughs> they said sometimes they can't tell. Well, uh, what did you say? I told them I didn't think much of you. <laughs> I'd I it. couldn't lie to my public. <laughs> That's not. I don't know. You've been lied to as long as I've known you. Now you roll these things. <laughs> You've told more lies than somebody that's running for. Com no, roll I've been these things <laughs> into about one inch balls, just like that. Just take them, roll them, just like that. And then what you do is you put them in a flat glass. What you call it? Glass pan. Glass. Huh? Baking dish. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> It's so nice that we have literate camera persons. It really is. And by the way, it says in this recipe, and it's very, very important, so don't you forget this, that you only put them one deep. Do not stack them. That is not a good idea. You just put them one at a time right across in the little baking dish, about one inch. That one got a little big. I think I was talking. But anyway, we'll just continue to do this for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to make a fine sauce. It's sort of a sweet and sour type of mess oh. that goes on top of it. Well, it looks like it with the ingredients you oh, have. Well, it, it is right strange. This was sent in by a viewer whose name I am not allowed to mention on the air. You remember last year I thanked somebody on the air, and then it said under it, please do not mention. And so I'm, this today I've read my recipe, and I've behaved myself, done what I'm supposed to do. Party mini meatballs by somebody from Roanoke, Virginia. Uh huh. A, a very shy person from Roanoke. Very, Virginia. very shy. Very shy. All right, now let me uh, show people what I'm up to over here. Well, ooh, that was nasty. Well, nobody saw it. I did well, it off oh, camera. Okay. I had to get rid of some gum. He'd been chewing bubble gum. Oh, well. I swear there's no end to the misery <laughs> we go through. All right, now I have two pounds of ground chuck. Now make sure when you go to the supermarket to do this recipe that you get ground chuck. And what, what happens if you just get mashed chuck? We or? come to their house and <laughs> beat them around. I mean, if you can't follow the recipe, hang it up, folks. Well, All right, now. Get huffy about it. Here's our two you? pounds of ground chuck, and it's on some wax paper. That way we can protect our little handsy wansies. And we're going to merge these two things of chuck together here. Now get your and hostilities make a out there, Oh, I will. And so good <laughs> doing it, too. Uh, we're going to make a big hamburger. It should be about an inch and a half thick. Oh my heavens. Just one big burger. Where are you going to find a bun to put it on? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me, folks. <laughs> you know, when you're just... See, I told you it'd be a funny show. You know, I never worry. It's 
It's always fun. Listen, I'm about tired of rolling these things. I feel like, well, no, I better not mention I've that. got to stir my Remember those animals. bugs? Yeah, yes. never mind. Anyway, how much? I've got to, what? Somebody signified and oh. I missed it. What were they saying? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm tired of that mess. I've rolled all I'm rolling today. Mm -mm. Now these onions are coming right along here that you gotta keep poking at them so they'll separate. And uh, Doris, I'm gonna need a platter to put mine on when I get it out of the. Now here's my big meat patty. Ooh, here that it is. is a rather formidable right here. meat patty. That's pretty. Here a it very is. Very lovely meat patty. Right, now it's gonna stay right over here uh, on the counter, and now I'm going to bring out the foil, and this is heavyweight foil, and you're going to need a lot of it. I, I bet this looks ball. real pretty back there in the control room, shining on the cameras and just messing up their registration and all that good stuff. All right, now you got two pieces of foil crossed. And you're going to bring your patty back over here. Now watch this, everybody. You won't see this on some of those high-priced cooking shows. Yay! It's amazing. That's right. Let's hear it. You Once saw again, it here, Once he folks. has showed his thank manual you, dexterity. All right. Now, For those of you that didn't think he had any. I'll put it over here while i got to slice up this lemon. Yes! I'm the great oh, I got to stir my onions. I'm afraid they're going to burn. Well, what are you going to do? Slice your lemon or stir your onions? Make I'm, up your mind. Here. Well, I'm glad I'm that I'm ambidextrous. You're getting a little. Your what? I'm ambidextrous. Well, a lot of people have been talking about that. Yeah, I can do. <laughs> uh, I uh, uh, thanks so much. I can do. Can I finish what? my sauce? I don't know. Can you? Yeah, sure. May Go I ahead. I yes. Finish. You can if you think you can. I may. This is an interesting sauce. I have not tasted this. I have pre made it, but I've not tasted it. It requires, by the way, I consider this to be one of the best uses of plastic today. And I don't know why it took them 20 years to get around to inventing a plastic container for catsup, which you can never get out of anything anyway. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Sound like the sink backed up there. All right, one cup of that. It seems a little heavy handed on that, but that's what it calls for. Nothing I can do about it. All right, start out. Boy, that's good and red. I hope your television's showing a nice red tonight. If not, it's time to uh, adjust your magenta. And a third of a cup of some grape jelly. And I've already, oh, how awful. I got some catsup in there. Someone's going to try that. That's a third of a cup of grape jelly. Uh, and then finally, some uh, a little bit of lemon juice, about a third of a cup, which is about one half of a large lemon. So you can tell I've done this. I know my stuff, Doris. I've done it already. I know. Whoops. I ain't got <laughs> well, seeds all I'm going to have to fish those seeds out of there. I can tell you that See, right now. You know, usually when you operate a juicer, you uh, <laughs> leave it flat on the table and I then know. the seeds stay down and then you carefully well, decant Well, I was trying the... to give Dennis a better angle uh -huh. uh, for his camera and uh, you see one sacrifices authenticity for TV sometimes. Do you know Dennis is leaving us? No. Dennis, this is his last show with us. Is that true? Dennis is going to the land of Jerry Falwell to work at a commercial television station. Well, Can you that believe true? that? I'm just worried sick over it. I am too. Well, we've got to All these things, chat. and then next week Maureen is going off to get married I need a in Texas. This stuff is just in we'll Texas. probably have good sound for the next three weeks <laughs> while right. she's gone. Recipes. Oh yeah, all right. Here are the recipes Suit that yourself. we're doing. I don't care. All the party mini meatballs, mini meatballs, the PMMs, one pound of ground beef, two cups of small pieces of white bread, one package of dry onion soup mix, about any kind will do, an egg slightly beaten, one teaspoon, tablespoon of dried parsley flakes, and you just roll them all up in little balls, and then on top of that you will put the sauce, which is a cup of cats, a third cup of grape jelly, and a third cup of lemon juice. And now for the fabulous chuck bake, two pounds of ground chuck, two tablespoons of margarine, two or four small onions sliced, 
half a cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of salt, pepper to taste, and a lemon sliced. Let me show you what to do with this sauce. Here's your, your half a cup of ketchup down in the bowl. And we're going to need now one tablespoon of Worcestershire. There it is. And a tablespoon of dried parsley. And like you, I had to get some. I didn't have it. And uh, a little bit of salt. I'm going to need something to set. There we are. There's the salt. And some. there's a fly in here. I just can't believe it. Here in the dead of autumn. There's my pepper, and you mix all of this up, and it just takes a minute to assemble this fabulous recipe, which will be cooked for 40 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, now, let me bring well, the, still need to pick it up here's right. the meat. Now, here's what you do to put this together. You put your onions out of the pan right Ooh. on top of the meat. Gosh, it looks good. It does, doesn't it? All right, now, you pour this sauce all over that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then I'll bet you wrap it all up in there and bake it. Well, yes, there is some talk about that. And then, of course, you put your whole lemon that's been sliced uh, up in here, too. Well, that's the most unusual thing I've ever seen. I'm really impressed with this recipe. Well, I am, too. I hope it's going to be as good as we think it is. And now we start wrapping it up this way, this way, and now we're going to wrap it this way, and I would advise you to set it on a cooking pan of some kind. I just have to use this. Okay. Is that it? And, yep, and now we, we have to get our things out right, the oven. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what? what we do is we take this sauce that I have made and just pour it over top of the meatballs, and you'll put that in the oven and bake it either covered or uncovered, it doesn't matter, I prefer uncovered, at 350 degrees for 45 minutes, and it should be quite delightful just in time. And you can put that, of course, uh, on a chafing dish and serve it, uh, you know, for a party. And now we're going to get this mess out of here and over to the table. We don't have time for a letter, I don't believe, today, but that's all right. We'll do something next week, promise oh, you. Yes, we will. Now, where is we that platter? You. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Gee, oh, you do you have to? Oh, those things it's did famous. get hot after all. It is hot. We do have time for a letter, don't we? Yeah, well, look. We don't have time for do, a letter. No, we okay. Well, I know Miss Witch is going to get I don't know mad. what to do. I'm so nervous. Because the Witch's Union is going to get after us. Oh, don't mention that. Excuse me. I know there's something got over the, here whoop. that I can serve this with. Open this baby up. One or two. Oh, let me have well, some. Well, I certainly do hope we have enough beef on this meal. We got nothing oh. to beef about this time, that's for sure. All right. These are the uh, mini meatballs, and they just look real pretty. All right. Now, Larry, let me. They ought to be real done. They've been cooking for days. Well, look at that. Mmm. Well, it smells real good. Oh, my. Some very interesting, some very Where interesting recipes pork? for beef for those of you who are interested. I shall try yours. What's this called, this thing? Chuck Bake. Chuck Bake. Oh, I can tell I'm going to cauterize my mouth. Well, that's one of the hazards of being in the cooking business. Hmm. Well, okay. they, Chuck Bake tastes like hamburger with uh, onions and lemon all over it. No, it's real good. I like it. It's got a very good and flavor to it. these meatballs are just... They're real tasty, but they, they are, um, they're very unusual. Well, spit it out. Well, what no, you can, you can taste that grape flavor in here, and it's kind of, you know, strange. Mm, mm, well, he mm, has mm. hurt my feelings again. No. Well, all right. Please.